Third, uh, sad days for Vivo Energy because uh, by, tu by Tuesday, na by Wednesday night, a number of uh, uh, reports were coming in that they had an explosion at their main offices. Uh, but well, when you look at uh, the situations that are happening in the country, uh, you wouldn't want such to happen for such bigger platforms and companies. Uh, welcome to Smart Means Business. My name is Jerome Paul Sonko. And a uh, very quick one for all of you that are there. Something that you need to have at the back of your mind normally is that every new day comes with new opportunities. So when a new day comes with new opportunities, you definitely have to strike every opportunity that comes for you. Make sure that you keep up to speed with information and regarding uh, information regarding business and also make sure you understand what is happening in the business world and all uh, is what you get definitely here on smart means business with me joran paul Sonko, and rita cabanero as we take you through uh, your business world and uh, that aside uh, you can get to understand the narrative of uh, business with expert interviews and analysis all right on the show today, we are going to be looking at a number of issues. We shall be looking at the URA revenue performance, half-year performance, and also we'll be talking about the Katuna Gatuna border, as a number of Ugandans are excited. So if, so if uh, we could actually say the Uganda-Rwanda border, uh, that, uh, which has actually excited uh, the traders, then we shall also be talking about uh, the economy recovery as uh, we get uh, close up close uh, with uh, Maji Chigozi, taking us through the market research of how we can enhance business productivity in the country. And uh, later on, we shall also be discussing the issue of uh, the Emioga funds. Did you know that very few people uh, actually, more so in the rural areas, benefited from the Emioga and other recovery funds? All that is coming up for you here today's show all right and now with that let's kick start it off from our business insight that is the smb insight uh, looking at the smb insight we normally touch a number of issues we look at some issues that are never identified in some areas and we can give it an insightful uh, description or we could say an insight we go into an insightful approach of the same matter and this time, uh, particularly, we have Dr. Adieri Julian Omala uh, taking us through the importance of a loan, why people don't need loans, why would someone go for a loan. And uh, this pretty much is for us to actually understand what it needs, what it actually means when you're going to go for a loan. And uh, this particular moment, our very first question uh, from, uh, to Dr. Julian Adieri Omala, Omala in uh, the business insight was understanding of a loan in business. What is a loan in a business? And this is what Dr. Julian Adieri had to reply. Mm, to me, what is a loan? It is um, the money you borrow from the bank or from anybody to help you to fulfill your demand at that time. When you have a demand of money, to do the business or to do anything, that money you get from a bank, from friends, even money lenders, that's what they call a loan. And uh, to me, a loan is supposed to come and bridge up the gap of your business. That money you don't have, it comes in and you have All right, now with that, you can understand that a loan is one whereby anyone uh, any business can actually go and apply for a loan. Normally, to get yourself a loan and add something to your business. Maybe, if at all, your business is not making the sales that you would want to and you would want to add more stock, you can go and apply for one of those loans in the different banks. Others go to different uh, savings and cooperative societies, the, the circles. Uh, others actually go and apply or can actually get a loan or from a friend or a relative so that is how business normally moves on but the bigger question would also be how to make good use of a loan normally we all take loans normally everyone takes loans and you, we ask ourselves questions how best can we utilize the loan that we've taken how can we put it into good use and this is what uh, dr julian adieri omala who is a business expert had uh, to reply regarding 
how to make good use of a loan. To me, uh, one, don't divert the money for the loan. Borrow for the purpose and invest that money for that purpose. Never divert the money. Because any money you get as a loan, it's not your money. And take note that that money as it comes in, it comes in with the interest rate. So again, before you borrow the money, if the interest rate is 22% and your profit is going to be 18%, then you can't afford to pay the loan. So first calculate the profit you get and also uh, in that profit, put in the taxes. I remember we had the CEO's forum in Chiangkwanzi where the, the P of uh, means of finance told us government is a big brother. Anything you do, you must think about taxation pay your taxes, organize your books of account, understand the money you are borrowing, what interest rate and what profit are you going to get. That is a net profit after you have deducted the money for other shareholders like government, other expenses. Yes, if you know that I'm borrowing at 18%, uh, my profit is paying me at 30%, uh, maybe other expenses, uh, if I deduct them, I can still get 22%. Then you can borrow and clear you, you pay the loan, but again, you don't again become extravagant. Once you borrow the loan, take yourself as a prisoner, as a slave. Before you pay the bank's money, you can't think about or investing or being extravagant, no. Borrowing, you must have a good discipline you must be very disciplined to manage the bank loan. All right. Now, with that, if you to look at that, how to make good use of a loan, normally uh, she has actually mentioned that, you see, even if you just get a loan from your friend, uh, bid 5,000 or 10,000 or 100,000 or 50, maybe 200,000, it is always going to put you on panic. There are times when you will actually find that same person who owes you money, who you owe money, and then you end up running away from them because you feel insecure around them because you know you're supposed to clear a debt or a loan that you took from them. And uh, that is where she's actually saying, make good use of, of a loan. How? Make sure that you don't divert the money. If I told you got this money to add stock in the shop, do the same. If you got this money to expand uh, your workplace or maybe you want to expand your office, please do. If you got your money to shift from where you've been working to a better place, uh, maybe in terms of rent, please do. Uh, these are situations where you find even people who go for loans and uh, they want to buy a personalized, uh, someone is going for a loan, uh, applying for a loan, to buy stock for the shop and then at the end of the day end up buying more luxurious things for themselves. So once you're getting this loan and it's supposed to support your business, make sure it supports the business, make sure it does what it's supposed to do. And in the long run, you will see that your sales will actually, have, will actually add on and you can be able to pay these loans. And that is where the challenges come with, uh, come about more so when you fail to deal, to actually clear off these loans. And with that, let's look at the challenges associated with loans in businesses. Why would you, one would say it is, it is good to go for a loan, but then why wouldn't you go for a loan? It is, is it a social evil in terms of business? Let's look at the challenges associated with loans in business. Uh, to me, uh, the use of the loan, it has made many, many people commit suicide, many people lose uh, properties, and many people become bankrupt because they don't borrow the right finance. That is one. Number two, the assessment, the banks, they don't help at time their customers to give out the right finance. The right finance is, I can say, for example, if it is a development finance, I cannot borrow at 22-23%. Development finance, I will need 8%. And when I have got some money which I have started with, that is all. But the bank must do their job. And us, as borrowers, we are supposed also to be transparent. Not to borrow money, and you divert that money. And also to not to borrow money on the business you don't know. Because I made a mistake because of that. Now, if I'm borrowing money, I'm investing it like uh, at my institute. 
at the farm. I have already journeyed. My mangoes have started flowering. I'm making a juice. This is the fresh juice from my fresh mangoes. I can borrow money knowing that, yes, I'm going to do the intercrop. I'm going to plant granules. If granules fail to work out well, I'm planting a periphery sorghum. If a periphery sorghum fail to get it right, then the mangoes, I will ensure that I take care of the mangoes. I produce quite a mangoes. If the mangoes fail to give me money, then I'm skilling people to the institute. Maybe they will repay me. Then I'm also raising the seedlings. So I must have multiple source of income. If this one fail to work, this one will give me. Then I can also borrow the money, which is not much. The money which is affordable. That's what I can say. Because for sure, whatever I borrowed, I made a mistake and I regret it and I will regret it. Great many, a number of challenges with, uh, associated with loans. And uh, sometimes there is also a challenge of failure to pay back. We've seen scenarios, more so even in the last two years, very common scenarios over reports in business, whereby most people who went uh, to pay loans lost their securities. And uh, these securities that they lost are the ones that they actually set in out when they are going for the loans, whereby someone takes in something as um, maybe you were applying for a loan and uh, the only thing that fits in the money that you're getting, got, uh, you have actually gotten is uh, your house, someone putting his house as a collateral, uh, someone, uh, others have lost their cars because they put them in as collateral as well, applying for these loans. So those are among a number of challenges. More so when you fail uh, to get, uh, to actually clear off these loans in the long run with the banks. And at the end of the day, you find people having issues with the banks, people claiming banks are not doing the rightful thing. People saying banks are always there to make money out of them. But remember, most of these banks are commercial banks. Obviously, apart from the, Uga the Bank of Uganda, the others are commercial banks. They live on profits. They work on profits. They work because they have to get profits. They have employees that they have to pay. So at the end of it all, and the money that you go out there to apply, if you're applying for loans, is money that people have been saving through the same bank. So in terms of commercial banks, uh, the issue of you going out there to ask for money or to seek for money, it does take you back to understand that once the time erupts, you need to make sure you've cleared this loan. That is how we actually say, make good use of that. That is why we, we first started with how to make good use of the loan before you encounter some of these challenges. Like I said uh, earlier, is that in most cases, people have challenges of uh, utilizing the money that they've actually uh, applied for. Someone applies for around 50 million Ugandan shillings and out of the 50 million he's, he has already budgeted for it and the business is going to take a number or a business is going to take quite a good amount of that money and then you find someone buying a new car on the 50 million uh, so you will find out that this person is approximately left with around 20 to 30 million Ugandan shillings and that is not going to help benefit your business. Why? Because your business will only not make out the 50 million to clear off because you'll have a number of uh, things to cater for. You have now a new car. You have, it also, it is a luxury that you need to keep up with. So basically, to avoid some of the challenges like failure to clear off the loans, make sure you take good use of the money. Or if at all you feel uh, the challenge you have doesn't need you to apply for a loan from the bank, please don't do. And uh, you can still sit down with uh, the banks and try to, un un to address your challenge and see how you can go about with that. You can actually find out that the bank may actually give you a better plan and uh, also help you out in managing your business. Well, uh, with that talking about the banks and uh, summing up our SMB insight, uh, Dr. Julian Adjeri uh, takes, uh, gives us recommendations to the banks concerning the issue of loans. What should the banks address on the matter of people suffering with clearing the loans. Take a look. One is uh, the bank, uh, they are doing business, you are doing business. If you can't afford it to pay, they will tell you, let us restructure. That means they extend the loan that is postponing their funeral. That's what I can say. But they don't have a choice. One message I want to tell to the bank, let them be sincere and clear and it be transparent to us. Our bankers are supposed to 
before they give us a loan to understand us. This is a customer. Is he bankable? Can he manage to pay the loan? What are the interest rates? If I want money and I can't afford the loan, I would be very comfortable. The banker tells me, no, you can't afford. Why can't you borrow less money than this? The bankers are supposed to be I can say our financiers, they are supposed to be our first accountants, our first auditors to show us the business we are doing and to enter it and see, yes, if you borrow, you've been in position to pay the interest rate and to remain with some money, but not them to come to you because you want money. The, because you have asset, you have security, and they just come and accept to give you a loan when they know you are not bankable. That one, I feel it's a responsibility of the banker to evaluate their customer, and also to be closer to us and guide us and give us the right finance. At times, I blame the bank. Somebody who has been borrowing 200 million, you cannot come and give me 4.6 billion. The billions I've never touched in my life. And you expect me to pay you where? Even managing that money is a big challenge. So uh, it's a responsibility of the bank to scale the financial literacy, to go through all that and make us understand what it means. They're supposed to be uh, like our development partners, to partner with us. And also they're supposed to say a part of the profit. That's why the banker must look into my business and say, okay, how much money are you making? If I'm making, okay, 30%. Then they come in and say, okay, we are here. We can eat 12%. You also remain with something. Not the banker to eat alone. We are supposed to sell that profit from the you can look at the situation as well, but she mentions that a bank will give you a loan of uh, 200, million, 200 million and ask yourself a question, can they really see, can they really see that I can manage to uh, manage, can, I, can, can they really see uh, that our first challenge is managing this particular amount? Imagine someone having a very simple mini supermarket and then I go out there because I want to enlarge this business, but I've, I haven't looked at how much, cost, how much profit I've been making even with my small business. Because sometimes we can even have small businesses and we fail to manage them, but then try to look for bigger things. And once you try to look for bigger things, when even the smallest has failed you, then you'll have a challenge of operating a bigger franchise. Why? Because in the long run, you will be accumulating more losses than the profits that you would have made. So it is where we actually go back and say, how do we get to the point of applying and making good use of a loan? Well, when you look at the situation, you sit down with the bank and the banks are supposed to also give, become our financial managers, giving us tips to deal with financial discipline. Uh, financial discipline is very important and very vital in life and very vital in terms of the business world because once you can not manage your finances in a, in a way better manner, then you're bound to make a number of mistakes out of it. So in that way, we will look at the situations and ask yourselves, how best can the banks help us? Now, like Dr. Julian Adieri here says that the banks need to actually look into these loans that we're applying for and try to also uh, advise us advise on a businessman how to use these loans because a businessman may go for a loan where it is not necessary or maybe he would go for a far bigger loan and yet his challenge or his problem can only be addressed with a few shillings in there so imagine someone going for over 200 million uh, in a bank and yet in the long run and the space the bank is going to give to them is going to be difficult for them to clear off these loans. So the issue here is let the banks provide opportunities for people to beat up these loans, not to create hardships for people uh, to actually find it hard so that the banks can take their collaterals or their securities that they had put in there while applying for these loans. Well, that aside, let's look at the business tips and these business tips today, we're looking at the printing business, the shirt printing business or cloth printing business. What do you need to do if you are 
someone dealing in this business what are those things that you need to keep at the back of your mind or if i told you someone who wants to venture in this kind of business there are a number of businesses in uganda and one of which is the uh, the printing uh, the cloth printing business whereby cloth and uh, embroidery business what you need to do what are those things that you need to keep at the back of your mind what are those tips that you need to have let's have a look at this first and foremost go for it I may have challenges, but you may not have the same challenges. So you go for what for you go for what you feel is right, because we have different different imp, uh, connections with our clients. As long as you have a strong base connection with your clients, your clients will always connect you to other people. Even if it's one year, we've had people who have said, "No, I came here in the first COVID." But you guys did some good work, so I. It's so called Chabena or Inok Soko Manu Memo Gogendo Kola. We're going to turn the Pajo Gendo Kua on a yo. Turn the Pajo now. Ram to add a video, Ram to add a Kumi, Ramedi on the Tano, Chino Kubi Ramuari, Olufanima, Omurimo Gutege, the Gogendo Kola, Oguagale, Omara Guagala. Our Kumurimo and Yini Yini, Tan Koberenga, Olimwe Sigua, our customer, our witch tea, Bakirizem, our cookie rizem, or a galecho chocola, a tokumeno good day. Ezo tips and yezo, Zijaku and Gaza Kumurimo, or Sanga Kumurimo go, will cube sao, a banga yonavo. And uh, when you look at uh, situations of uh, trying to understand what is your initial capital. What is your initial capital on, uh, when you're going to start your business? Try to look and consider what you need uh, before you start up the business. How much do you need to input into the business that you're going to start? Important and obviously vital for your business growth. So if you want to see your business grow, try as much as you can uh, to see that you put in the money uh, that works for you. Try as much to put in uh, the effort that is going to see your business grow bigger and better. By the way, uh, with that you can actually understand that if you want to set up a very simple business, this is how much money you need to have. Uh, then if I told you want to set up a bigger one, you can still say that people who normally shoot for, for the sky, who want to shoot for bigger platforms and someone is like, no, for me to start up a business, I need a business that is going to generate as much money as possible. I don't want to start with a business that cannot make me a million a month. There are people of that nature. And then there are people who are like, if at all I can get 200,000 out of my business, 100,000 out of my business monthly, I'm good to go. Then there will be someone who is like, I'm starting up my business, but I need a 1 million out of it every month. So that if at all I have a salary of 2 million somewhere, I add 1 million from my business, I have 3 million in there. With the 3 million, and that is just the profit that you're getting out of it. The others are always to take back, to put back into the production process and uh, to increase on your production rate. Well, with uh, some of these tips also, the, there is one a lady who mentions that go for it. Going for something is uh, very important. If you, need, you feel you have love or desire for something, you can do anything. And uh, in this world, impossibilities are only those in maybe maybe creating a human being i would say are those are, are kind of impossible to achieve but there are things that if at all you've positioned yourself well you're dedicated and maybe you've met the rightful people the, you have the rightful connections maybe it becomes so possible uh, with the fact that you forget the word impossible in you. All right, uh, the, the other side, let's have a look at the commodity updates from the different markets, Kalere, Chibuye, Nakawa, and Nakasero. The local produce, how much can you get uh, this? And uh, pretty much if you look at sugar, sugar has actually been hiking of late uh, from around 3,400 in some areas down up to 3,800. So it wouldn't be a shocker if you get one a kilo at 4,000. And so is a bar of soap. Uh, but that's among many of the commodity updates that we have for you. Take a look.
These are markets that you can uh, definitely go out there and try as much as you can to clearly move about and say, yes, this is the way forward for me and my business. After the break, meanwhile, we're going to take a look at the business reports. What is trending in the business world? What is the information running around from the world of business? So you can definitely uh, stick around and we are good to go. This is Smart Means Business. <laughs>